it's a real neat thing that the guys came up with. And we're the only, only company that really can utilize this product to actually put the waveform of a sensor itself directly into a Pi tag. Most everybody else will say, oh, we put data in Pi tags as well. But they don't. They just put the overall value into a Pi tag, not the waveform. So Jeremy, good to be here in Deer Park, Texas this morning to talk a little bit about our VC8000 con condition monitoring and machine protection system. So can you say a little bit about uh, some of the features that you see? Sure, Glenn, glad to have you. You know, one of the, the real interesting aspects of this device is the database that it uses to store the high resolution waveform mm -hmm. data. Um, and that, in this case, is the OSI SoftPi historian database. Um, you know, in this area specifically, you know, you got a lot of refining, petrochem, power gen, lots of various industries that already use the OSI Soft Pi um, Historian database today. It's a uh, it's a real neat thing that the guys came up with, and we're the only only company that really can utilize this product to actually put the waveform of a sensor itself directly into a Pi tag. Most everybody else will say, "Oh, we put data in Pi tags as well," but they don't. They just put the overall value into a Pi tag not the waveform. So we put all the data associated with that point as well. Uh, the scale factor, the type of sensor, where it's located, what its name is, all goes into Pi tags. So it takes about 15 Pi tags per sensor on an average. It's really amazing. I've had a lot of people question me on, hey, does this really store waveform sample? And it does. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe if I recall correctly, it stores at 80 milliseconds uh, in the Pi storage database. Right. It's actually processing it at 40 milliseconds, but it delivers out at 80 milliseconds. So wow. really, that's impressive. Really fast, really fast. It really is. Also can use it as a flight recorder, right? Yeah, uh, that's, that's another aspect of this device. It really makes it unique in the market. So let's say you do lose your connection between the VC8000 and your OSI SoftPi database. You haven't lost your data. Um, you've got two options on this guy. You got one that's an SD memory card that'll store about six months worth of data. Mm -hmm. um, of, and that's live waveform type data. Um, if you choose to install the hard drive into the device, you can store up to 18 months or more um, of pure waveform uh, full dynamic data. So really impressive that there's no holes in the data. It's very true. So we offer a lot of options on board, in Pi tags, and are in a silo. People that have OSI Pi historians have a real unique advantage in that the data is resonant along with the process data. Yep. And it also allows you to get away from dedicated silos that really you know, have proprietary software, that sort of thing. All of those issues go away. Yeah, not having to maintain a, a, an additional database, an additional server. Uh, you know, which is quite a uh, costly uh, endeavor for our customers. Yeah, and like I say, we can provide a silo as well for people that are not OSI Pi historians. We just store the data as a .cms file. And again, very, very simple. It's an open architecture, that sort of thing. That's great, easy to share it. Good. Thank you.